Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to talk to you about public folders in 2019. Yes, we still have public folders in 2019. But since Exchange 2010 where you had a public folder database which wasn't highly available and it was always tied to one server that architecture changed in Exchange 2013 and was carried over 2016 and 2019, where you now have a mailbox, which will then be highly available for you to obviously back up. And if it's part of a DAG, it will have uh, high availability. But also, you, the same logic applies where you can create your folder structures and give people access, etc. Now, I wanted to show you this. So I've logged into the Exchange Admin Center. And once you click on Public Folders, it takes you to the first option. Now, it basically gives you an explanation of what you, can, what you need to do, etc. But the first thing we need to do is create a mailbox. So if I click the plus button, I can call it, uh, you call it anything you want. You can place it where you want. So you might have different OU structures in your organization. You can select a database, click Save. And as you can see now, I have a public folder mailbox and I can create a second one. So I can call this marketing, for example. You'll notice that I didn't select an OU and I didn't select a database, right? So you'll see that it's defaulted to users and it put it on this database. Now, just like a mailbox, you can obviously track its usage, etc. but it's not been used yet. And now when you go back to public folders, you can click a plus sign and we can call it a name. Uh, I'm going to call it root for now. And I can go inside root, for example, and I can create another folder. I'm going to call it folder one. So clicking the arrow here, you can see I've gone back to the main section of the public folders. So I can create a new one. I can call this uh, marketing. And inside marketing, I can create um, visuals, for example, or uh, let's create another one, banners. So now what you can do is, let's say I want to go back up. So marketing and root, I can now manage permissions. So if under root, for example, I wanted to add in, I uh, only got one user. And I want to say that this user can only read and can edit its own stuff and is visible, right? And there you have changes applied. Now, if I had to create another user, I could go to marketing and do the same thing where I can apply permissions for those users here. And when obviously when you open Outlook, I will see root, for example, but I won't see marketing because I haven't been assigned the permissions. And a lot of companies still use public folders, but they use them more for like internal adverts, uh, general announcements, and you know stuff like that, or they use SharePoint. Um, but I've, I have come across uh, migrations of public folders to the newest version of Exchange and Exchange 2016. And just to show you how easy it is to manage and just be aware, as mentioned, it is highly available because it's a mailbox. And obviously, if you have a DAG, the bigger the DAG and if you don't have backups, it will be highly available across the DAG. And that is public folders. Thank you very much for watching.